So we're going to ignore the behavior, okay. and then once he does the behavior we want, that's when we reward with food, with toys, Troy. or affection, mm -hmm. right? So okay. we're not ignoring Troy, we're ignoring the behavior, okay. right? Because this is our first time meeting. Ah, oh, he's the expert, right? One of the best in the business. He's a Malang, the dog whisperer, the expert at training people. Not just pets, yes. Right. Caesar has a new show in Las Vegas, and he is here to talk all about that. And this is just you, you on stage. Me on stage. My mm -hmm. goal is to inspire people, you know, to uh, to become uh, better humans for this mm -hmm. planet. Mm -hmm. I have a slogan now: "Is better humans, better planet." I think mm -hmm. uh, we we can do a better job. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen uh, what you guys are showing on TV. Immigrants. Mm -hmm. I'm an immigrant. Yeah. You, I, is it true you came across the border? I with came a, across the border dollars. with a hundred dollars. Look at you now. So, so uh, you. You know, I, I love the quote, uh, ask not what the country can do for you, what can you do for the country? Mm -hmm. So that took that to heart. And as an immigrant, I want to make this country a better, a better country. Definitely, I took that uh, to heart. And I know the Americans love dogs. Uh, like I never seen in my life, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like the dog sleeps in the bed, they get yeah. the Christmas uh, presents, birthday parties, all those stuff that I never seen growing up, right. you know? But at the same time, uh, the dog didn't have rules, boundaries, and limitations. The human didn't pay attention to the energy that he was projecting. Uh, the, the needs of a dog versus the wants of a dog, you mm -hmm. know, how to fulfill the life of a dog. So all of those things, I said, you know what? I'm not gonna train dogs. Mm. I'm going to train humans mm -hmm. and rehabilitate dogs. So my first center, I opened it in South Central Los Angeles. So dogs That's from Beverly right. Hills came to South Central. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was like a parking lot. Down it's a parking lot. That's yeah, right. It's down an alley, right? I started, I started in a parking lot. I started in the hood. Mm -hmm. And so, but the thing is, it's about having faith. It's about having a clear conscious of what you really want to achieve in life and how can you make this planet a, a much uh, a safe way to be, especially with animals, because animals don't really want to, uh, create this harmony in your home. Mm -hmm. You know, animals don't really want to make you unhappy. Mm. The whole point of an animal is what do you need to be happy with whatever you have? You know, my clients are Harvard graduate, but they can't walk a chihuahua. <laughs> you know what I mean? Super powerful people, but the dogs right. don't know. So right. money, fame, and power does not exist in the animal world. You know, so what exists is do we feel safe? Do we feel peaceful? Do we feel love? And if you feel that way, animal follows you off leash. Mm. So that's what I want to inspire yeah. people in the show. You know, and the show is definitely, it's a show about my life. I want people to know where I came from, how I did it. You know, if I can, the people that helped me along the way, right. you know, I call them the angels that you can see. And so you never know if you're going to be somebody's angel because, mm. you know, Jada Pinkett was my angel. And the really? ladies, are, yeah. So that's how I learned English, by the way. Mm. You know, Jada was my client first. And then, you know, I told her, you know, I would like to have a TV show or a, or a radio show. Uh, so, because I want to teach people, people need help. And she said, well, for that, you need to speak English. So she sent a teacher for a year so I can learn English, you know? So, so, so not only did you come across the border with just a hundred dollars, yeah. you didn't even speak the language. I didn't even have family. I, you know, I, uh, I was homeless for, for two months. So yes, uh, all the stuff that will block you not to achieve what you want, right. it was there. You know, but as long as you have faith, passion, and, yeah, and you, you know what you else want, here. yeah, as, as you can achieve it. So I, I, I love to share that story. I think a lot of people sometimes have a blockage, and sometimes they don't, they don't have a belief system. So someone like me can come and inspire people and achieve something that they didn't thought existed. Because no, no, and you know, back in my times, dog whispers did not exist. And now kids wants to be dog whisperer, you know, it's a profession. Now <laughs> right. you have dog walkers, you know, now people are definitely understanding how important it is to walk a dog. When I started, you know, people, they say, well, I have a backyard. Why do mm. I need to walk the dog? It's like, but if you have a bird, the bird needs to fly. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a fish, the fish needs to swim. A dog needs to walk. It's, you know, common sense. Right. So for me, I start sharing common sense in a very fun way, in a very educational way. And people start enjoying, you know, the simplicity behind. So I like to teach natural, simple, profound way of, of, of looking at life because dogs are natural, simple, mm. and profound. Mm. Kind of like people. I, I love just the four minutes that we've been able to talk. The show is a lot longer. Opens in Vegas in just a few weeks in September, right? September 12th to the 18th. All so right. I hope everybody comes and, and get inspired. Good luck. Thanks for Thank being you. here, Cesar. All right, Cesar Milan's new show. It starts in September at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Yeah, you yes. can cheer for yourself. It's yes. Cesar Milan, My Story Unleashed. For all the details, just go to our website. It's kcal9.com.